What's up everyone? So today I'm going to give you all a behind the scenes look into my art studio, aka my room. So let's get started. So first things first is my desk, which is actually a kitchen countertop that I bought from Ikea. Uh, I saw someone build one on YouTube, so I did the same, which is basically just <laughs> add some metal legs to it and that's it. But it worked out great, you know, I have two monitors and I just needed something big enough to hold all my shit and I think it worked out pretty great. Lamp is from Ikea as well. My Raptor, you've probably seen them in my card trick video. If not, shame on you. But I'll buy knickknacks and sometimes I'll repaint them and that's what I do with this one. I have two 27 inch monitors. One I'll work on, the other I'll usually uh, watch a movie or bring up some music on YouTube. And a lot of people ask what I draw on digitally and this is what it is. It's a Wacom drawing tablet. So what I do is I draw here and then everything that I draw shows up on this screen. And I actually have a, what, 22 inch tablet that I draw on the screen, but it takes so much room up, you know, it's like having an extra one of these. So it's actually down there in the box right now. So that's that. I have some noise canceling headphones. This salt lamp that reminds me of Indiana Jones movie. Whiskey, if you want to sponsor me, Jack Daniels, hit me up. This is Master Chief from Halo video game, the Halo franchise. Um, I bought this years ago and I repainted them. That's why it's so special to me. Uh, so I just made them look real battle damage, added all this silver and this black, which is actually like shoe polish, and this is just regular acrylic that I bought. So I'm really proud of that. Then we have some of my books. I got rid of a lot of them once I moved just because they're just hell to carry up and down the stairs, so I got rid of a lot of them. But I'd probably say my most favorite art books are probably the Jim Lee one. Now Jim Lee is a comic book artist. So this just pretty much has all his work that he's done for DC Comics at least. So they're just all his sketches and He's the best out there, so if you got kids that are into drawing or comic books, tell them to check out Jim Lee. And then we have this one, Guillermo del Toro, which is, it just has a lot of his diaries from his movies and sketches that he made. So if you haven't checked out any of his stuff, be sure to. Hellboy's a good one. Pan's Labyrinth. Great books to have. some posters this actually my friends made for me as y'all know I deleted my Instagram account so it's nice to actually have these pictures from my Instagram and a poster but the sad thing is when they gave it to me I left Austin and I forgot it and I didn't I left it there for like two months <laughs> so they were probably mad at me but we got it back that's uh, from the shape of water and what else do I have these are my sketchbooks. I'm not going to go through them, but I think this is like the only one that I've actually filled up every page and the rest are all just like halfway filled. The thing is I'll work on one and then I'll hate the sketches in them and I'll just buy a new one and just like forget about this one because I hate it, you know? And I think a lot of artists would like that from what I hear, so I don't know. It's kind of weird to explain, but I have more books this way. And these are mostly like my how to draw books. How to draw. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a lot of good ones. This is a book that I actually finished reading this. Oh, hell. It's a, uh, it's not a drawing book or anything, just it's fantasy, but it was really good. So if you're looking for a good book, there's one. But the reason we're here is because I started this drawing earlier, this jackrabbit, and then I went running, but uh, 
I figured, you know, I'd feel myself inking it, and I'm not that great at it, but I just want to do something different, so that's what we'll be working on today.